I'm from South Bend, but my fiance, she's from Elkhart. And yeah, I've been living here all my life and my kids go to uh, South Bend schools. I have a 13 year old daughter and I have a nine year old son, which will be here and um, a six year old son and a five year old daughter and two twins, that's four. Yeah, so we'll all be living in the house. We've had the hole dug, we've had the footers put in, the walls poured, the basement floor poured. We are on the corner of Liston Street and Studebaker Street on the west side of South Bend um, between Koufax and Washington. Which is the future site of the Fryson family home. No work has been done since the fall because of the weather. However, on February 2nd, Riley, Washington, Clay, Adams, and Penn students constructed the walls of the Frysons' habitat house at the mall. And in the spring, students who are still being recruited will finish the project right here on the job site. It's going to feel real good, you know, see, seeing the high school students coming out, helping out, you know, build my home, you know, and that's something I always remember and cherish. Hezel Fryson says he never thought he'd be able to afford a home for his family. But thanks to Habitat for Humanity and students like Riley High School senior Curtis Crenshaw, Fryson's dream is close to becoming reality. I hope a lot of people go along with this program and try to you know, help build the house and want to do it. So far, a handful of students are on board. Students like these two Penn High School seniors. I think it'll be a really good experience to get to work with the other schools. We've only ever worked with adults, so it'll be interesting to work with other students um, and just build uh, friendships maybe while we're building a house too. Faith Olson is president of the Habitat Club at Penn. She has taken part in builds before, but she wants other students to know. You don't have to be experienced to be part of the Rock the House build. They show you and they make sure you can do it and they just let you go and do it. And by the end of the day, you're an expert at whatever you're doing. My junior year, I was just painting the porch and we were doing like primer and stuff. The one this year, I went two weekends and we were working on drywall all throughout the house and it was like just putting it up and then screwing it in and it was, it was a lot of fun. I was pro <laughs> by the end of the day. I had my screw gun. <laughs> Regardless whether you've ever picked up a hammer, uh, you can participate and, and be a part of this. It's a real growing experience for the young people and uh, having been involved in the process myself, uh, you, you get a real appreciation for for reaching out and supporting and helping someone else. Superintendent Dr. Robert Zimmerman's words echo in what Notre Dame junior Jamie Amron has to say about her experience with Habitat when she was in high school. I mean, it's just the coolest thing when you're on it, the construction site and you know you've been hammering away since the beginning and you see it, walls go up and you see a roof go up and you see a porch and then finally a door with a lock and a kitchen and um, a shower and just a full house and you've really you've actually helped build a house, which is not something many high school students get to say. Amron is now part of the Habitat for Humanity Notre Dame chapter. One of the main goals and missions, kind of a dream really for me and the presidents of Habitat has been to help the high school students build a house because a lot of us that do Habitat here now had the opportunity to do it in high school and there wasn't really that in South Bend. Until this current opportunity, now Amron and close to a dozen other Notre Dame students are partnering with South Bend High Schools and Penn to help physically and financially with this Rock the House project. We submitted a grant proposal to an organization through Habitat where we were granted one of um, five grants for $10,000, which we are giving to the, this high school project. Currently, each high school has to raise close to $2,000 but it's a priceless experience to be part of. They begin to build relationships with, with their colleagues that they're working with, but they also build those relationships with, with the individuals for whom they're building the home. It definitely is more than building a house. I mean, it's setting up a future for a family. And I, I never thought I, I would be owning my home. It's gonna be a nice thing to do. Besides the um, feeling good about doing what you're doing and helping out people, it looks really good on college resumes. I'm looking forward to the opportunity in the spring uh, and uh, look forward to the opportunity to join them. I'm really excited to do this build. It feels good, you know, and I'm excited about it. You know, I can't, I can't wait, you know, to get in it.